Hello everybody, welcome to the Sound Test Rooms review and demo and sort of tutorial on different drummer. Okay, first of all I'd like to say thank you for the developer for sending me the promo code um, so we could review this and thanks for everyone on the forum who requested seeing this and, and supporting the videos. It really means a lot to me guys, everyone likes them. So, anyway, first of all, when it's booted up, the first thing you have is this. You have a kick loaded. Here you have your sample selector, so... Okay, so that listen, it's just stacks and stacks of samples and you can copy and paste your own in. So that's really good, so if you had some sounds you could use them as well. And this thing here we, we know does strange things, so... So we can alter the, 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 the way as it's playing like that, and that's cool. And there's these little dice and things where you can sort of, see, and it'll, it'll alter, make it do different things, different speeds and stuff, and alter the quantize, and things like that. Okay, so just let's stop. Go back here. Now these are wave sets. This doesn't have any wave sets. Uh, Electrify doesn't have anything to get you started, but you know how good that is once you start. So you have to make your own wave set. It's real simple. Anyway, I made a, a wave set called Default, which is just... Sorry, I have to load it. Which is just the original thing that come in. So I'm going to choose Kick, Drum and Bass. I'm going to go to this second one here. And this is where I can select... A, I'm going to put a snare in. And switch it on. Okay, pretty straightforward, eh? So let's go back there and select this. This is where we can get some interesting things going on. And we can adjust the quantize. Okay, let's go to a third one. And we have little icons here so we can select our toms, stairs, hi-hats, effects, uh, percussion. Let's put a clap in. Alright, pretty cool eh? So, when, when we've got that, and you're not going to be able to program this like a drum machine, so you're not going to be able to go dum, ch, dum, dum, ch, it will generate rhythms and beats. And, you alter how the pattern plays by using the different wave things here. So you can alter the pan, the velocity, that whether the note is tied together or whether the note rests. And it's kind of subjective. You can play and mess around with that. Or you can hit the dice and you can select different waveforms. So if it's square or sine. So that's cool. So where were we? Yes, wave sets. This is important. Once you have uh, some waves loaded in. Uh, some patterns, uh, some drums, and, and they're playing the way you want them to play. You just go here, this little icon here, and it'll say wave sets. Okay, so I'm going to save that wave set. Okay, and I'm going to call it uh, Bing and save. And then hit save again, and it'll just ask. It, I think it's because the keyboard's up there. But anyway, oh, there is Bing. So, if I went to um, Doug's Hat, which is a wave set I created uh, over the last few hours, load. Let's see what we've got there. So, I'd set the tempo at 110. So, there's Doug's Hat playing away nicely. And if I wanted to go back to Bing, select the wave set and it's there so I've been playing around with these wave sets so you load in the sample you want from the sample browser into these and then save it as a wave set and then you can go back to it later and play around with it so you can do some really strange and weird things with this so I, I did this one called strange water uh, just not all these were just I haven't imported anything into this by the way these are just the samples that, that, that come with it Okay, so this is Strange Water. I think 
that's really weird. So let's pick it. There's our water sample. <laughs> so there you go. And I've got the gong going on and things like that there. So I, I thought that was quite fun. How useful would this be to me? Um, probably not very because it's not the kind of music that I like but if you like ambient weird or glitchy man you can process this through your effects through the audio bus I have had it running in audio bus it, it seems to work fine so that's cool we also have a mixer and we have a like a, 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 a reverb no reverb so it's quite a good reverb. We can also change the key. I don't know if this is a little percussion. So there you go. You can change the key. We can also, it's, the water and things are playing in a pentatonic scale, but we have minor, melodic minor, uh, all these scales to choose from. So which we can which we can think but I'll get, I'll get into that in a sec okay we'll go back to drum now this is this is where this this gets quite interesting um let me take the reverb off for a sec and go back to the the wave sets now I created this yesterday 175 bpm and I th this I, so it is possible to get it to do something that's more sort of sort of standard and this is what I come up with, and I called it Electro Drum and Bass. And of course, the sound quality is great. Okay, trust me, it, it sounds great through headphones or direct. Because the, we're recording this with just with the camera, although the mic on the camera is good, but it is good. But once you've got this playing, snare. I'll pick the snare wave and I'm going to manipulate the snare wave a bit now. Now I'm going to manipulate the ride. Now if I wanted to overwrite my drum and bass electro with that, I could. Now. Here is a thing that I think that most people are going to find really useful. Some people were saying uh, a while ago, you know, is there any way to change tempo and stuff? With this program, you can go from 90 to 120 to whatever you want. But you can also, and this is really good, not many generative music apps do this, actually. So some thought has gone into this. If we go to this ABA, this is where we can save sequences, load wave sets and make sections. So... I'm going to start with electro drum and bass, that one you've just heard, and I'm going to have it play for four measures. You can select and change the measures to anything you want there. So all we do is from our wave sets that we've created, once we go into here, the ABA, all our wave sets will be there, or all the wave sets that you've created, and they are quick to create, they're easy. Once you hit this little plus, it'll drop it into this sections section here. So four times electro D and B. So this this will play four four bars and then stop. Okay, so and then I'm gonna put in strange water. I'm gonna leave that at four bars as well, so that can go in next to it. Then I'm gonna put in this um weird didgeridoo type wave set that I saved quite early on and I'm going to put that in for four bars so you can have it for so you can set your measures to one bar four bars or whatever you like okay so let's just play this now as a, as a section and it will play as a complete thing now if you're recording this into something that's really cool so here we go So you 
can get the picture okay so you can build up sections and you can make a complete track and depending on how careful you are with how you manipulate the waves you can get it to sound really interesting so okay so let's zip back over to our wave sets that we can load in to play with now i created this one called odd jazz okay and it, it was really simple it just uses three three samples i have a vibraphone uh, a hip-hop snare and a, an 808 kick okay so just want to play it and see what it sounds like deep with this this app like I said there's nothing really else out there that quite does this it's a big learning curve I mean I, you could you could really spend like weeks and weeks really digging deep and and sort of getting to know it really well so we have some different things here we have automation uh, we have a randomizer after eight measures uh, we have a dice we have some sort of uh, note quantizing things and we can select the variations to occur on particular different things I haven't really gone into this I haven't had time but it all seems to work okay now another thing let's see we've done the mixer we've done this we've done our different ways to manipulate the wave that's something you can play with if you like it this thing up here this bit we have <clears throat> okay we have a little clock thing there which we can set time signatures with or have it on clock now this big record button will hit that this what this does is it's a it's it's a wave recorder so once you've recorded some audio you can audio copy or paste um, or do it in iTunes which I don't think many people do these days but there you go so if I record like my weird jazz thing so I'm gonna manipulate let me go back there a sec um, my vibes as I'm recording so let's let's hit record recorded as I programmed it so let's see Thank you. 
Yep, so obviously um, that works well there. Um, so yeah, I think it's uh, it's a lot of money still. I mean, you consider it's the same price as Cubasis, which does a lot. This basically will create rhythms and stuff. I think the concept is interesting. I think there's a lot of work gone into how this thing functions. Um, you can do a lot more with it than I've just shown you. Um, like I said, if I was the developer, I would definitely, definitely drop the price. And I think, I think lots of people would buy this and find it useful and and interesting, uh, interesting ways to play with, to play with how things work, and waves and stuff. It's cool. Okay, so that's really about it for now i will do some others i think maybe some tracks and upload them to soundcloud of them working with with other apps and things but you could actually i suppose create a whole a whole thing i don't know if i've got any other things that we haven't oh weird east so load that and see what that sounds like <laughs> tablet thing going on there so yeah it's like I said it's not easy to use it take a bit of time you can build up these nice wave sets you can say wait where um, as a MIDI files and stuff like that you can then support import so you could drop in your own samples and manipulate them as well so that would be that's quite useful as this thing here as well where you can you know go over amounts of measures and see what's going on and it will play these measures and then you can get it to vary afterwards so, like I said, I'm sure there's loads more it does, but this was just a general overview, um, giving it a little bit more of an in-depth look. All right, guys, later.